as my probably the most popular item of clothing that people fix at our workshops at fast fashion therapy. But what happens when you've already fixed them once and basically they've ripped again? So I repaired these uh, for my niece and I did it by borrow stitching. Um, I tried to make it as invisible as possible because that's the look she wanted. But what's happened is she's worn them so much that this is the original patch I put on. And it's actually ripped at the patch. So this is this is what you do so you can fix them. I've turned them inside out and you can see exactly that it's ripped along the original patch. Now because these are skinny jeans and um, my niece is quite small so it, that is a bit trickier to fix than maybe a wider leg jean. What I'm going to do is I've got um, a denim patch here from an old pair of jeans that I've made, cut down so it's a bit bigger. I want to cover this space and then what I'm going to do is actually go from one edge of the side of jeans to the other. Um, now you could do this with a tape measure, ruler and some tailing chalk but I'm going to measure it straight away from one edge to the other and I'm going to cut down. So I don't need to cut, cover this part of the patch it actually finishes here but I do want to go over a bit bigger area than what the rip is. So before I pinned the patch I've actually edged done by a zigzag stitch around the edge of the patch and that will just prevent it fraying when the jeans are washed. Um, you can do about that by hand by using an over stitch which we've got over video for. Um, I've just done it for quickness on the sewing machine. And it's the same with these jeans, I'm actually going to stitch them on the machine for quickness but um, if you don't have a machine or you prefer to stitch by hand then that's also possible. It's just the two layers of denim might be quite difficult to get through with a hand needle um, but you could use a thimble that will help your fingers. So I'm going to lay this patch quite far above that rip so I want to reinforce the whole area but I need to make sure that it also fits down on this end. Now these are very narrow jeans, um, I mean my niece is a teenager but if you've got younger children it's quite difficult to get your hands into the legs because what you don't want to do when I pin them, you don't want to come through on the other side and it's the same when you stitch either by hand or with a sewing machine, you just want to make sure you're not stitching the legs together. And I also want to make sure the patch isn't too tight on the jeans so there's enough room in there. Okay, well, that's ready to stitch on the machine. Right, it's a bit of a struggle, but I've managed to get the leg of the jeans over, so I've taken off. The bigger front of my machine, most modern machines you can do this. Um, so I've got a narrow arm to work with. And I want to work from the front of the jeans because I want to control what I'm doing here. If you'd rather work from the back, then what you could do is tack it in place before you stitch. So if you're using larger stitches and a, with a bright cut and colour thread, then that way um, you can unpick them afterwards. Now, I just want to make sure... Everything is really flat before I stitch it. So you might find by doing it this way that actually the pins I originally put in place um, are actually a little bit awkward. So I'm going to take them out and just work without the pins. Because um, you also want to make sure your, your um, sewing machine needle doesn't hit the pins because it will break. Um, so I'm going to do it by fill. So I'm going to start over here just right over to the um, seam and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch but it's going to take me a while to get these jeans in place
So now I've got the needle in. If your needle's not in, you can um, bring the wheel on the side of the machine towards you. So the needle's in the jeans. And I'm going to lift up the presser foot. And I'm going to turn the fabric round as best I can. And what I've done is I've zigzag stitched just across that initial rib. And I'm going to just gently work my way back. So I'm going to come... Just kind of keep feeling in there, making sure that patch is in place. I'm going to come down a little bit. And then again, needle in. Press the fit up. And I'm going to try and turn these jeans around. As you can see, it's pretty difficult to get to the area. But it just takes a bit of patience. And then just make sure you're not stitching through the other side of the jeans. And I'm gonna stitch over that next rip. I'm gonna make sure they're as close to poss as possible. Press the foot down. Kind of getting my thumbs underneath because I just want to move away that other side of the leg. And with my top fingers, I'm just putting that other rip back in place. Okay, so that's the kind of worst two bits of the rip so what I'm going to do is just continue zigzagging down and just probably a little bit above what I've done just then that's going to reinforce that patch so before I carry on anymore I'm just going to check what I've done um so I've used a zigzag stitch and I've managed to fix that rip so that's now in place um I've managed to catch a little bit of fabric there but it's not too bad so I'm quite happy with that and it's kind of sitting flat um, and seems fine. So now what I'm going to do, now I'm happy with the positioning of that rip. Um, I'm actually just want to reinforce, I can feel the patch is kind of along this line here. So I, I just want to reinforce that a bit more. So I'll probably just do a few more zigzags here, a few more down here. I'm going to go over this rip again and again, but just not in the same place, but just next to the stitching. So it just kind of gives it a bit more secure, but you're not weakening it by stitching it too much. Um, and then we'll see how it looks at the end. Okay, so I've finished those now. And then what I found easier, um, if you can see the stitches, I don't know if I can get to see on this, but I actually found it easier to put the jeans. So the um, kind of leg of the sewing machine went in that way. And then rather than, I did one stitch down here, but I found that really difficult. So what I did was I did um, just some short stitches this way. And then I just kept moving the jeans along the machine, um, along the arm of the machine. And I found that much easier rather than trying to come down here all the time. But it was good to do that first one to just fix that bit in place. Uh, so I'm pleased with those. Hopefully my niece will like them. I just wanted to talk about some thread that I use. So this one, um, because she wanted an invisible kind of, much as possible mend that this one has um has some gutterman in it's a uh, denim so it's actually um uh, polyester um oh, actually so it's 70 polyester 30 cotton but it's got a marl effect to it which matches the marl in the jeans um but equally if you've got a darker pair of jeans you can just use a regular navy thread um a lighter pair i mean that like blue would have worked fine or you could make a big feature of it and put like a really interesting patch there and then loads of different coloured threads. That would look really cool as well. So yeah, getting those jeans fixed.